Hi everybody, welcome, welcome back to part 17. We'll do a very, very quick overview. Last time we did the weeds, the flowers, and we actually got this uh, bottom half of the base, some sand put in, and that done. Uh, don't seem a lot, but it was a lot. But I'm not going to linger around there because I really want to get on. Now, uh, what I'm actually going to be doing next is, if I turn it around, I want to get all the doors door frames and everything down to this colour that I've actually done on the stairs. Now what I will do is I will run through on one of the barn doors uh, the process that I'm doing which will apply to everything that I'm going to be doing in the wood. So I'll put you on pause, I'll get set up and we'll get started. So to start with what I've actually done with the barn doors is I've matte blacked out all the hinges now I've done that on all the doors because we've got two doors at the top with hinges so I've matte black them all out and all I'm going to do now I've got some of this AK light grey uh, I've got a little bit in my palette I've just thinned it down a touch not too much because it is rather thin to start off with and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to give all my doors a coat of this light grey not being too uh, careful about it because you don't really need to so you get into the corners this rather boring bit finish this side you get the idea of what I'm doing I'm just giving it a, a coat of the grey and I'm gonna let that soak in and dry I will do will do the back I shall get on with that now and also I will do all the timber work that is outside I eat all the doors the door frames the barn uh, door frames as well I'll give them all a coat of the grey and when I've done that, I'll come back to you and we'll go on to the next step. I've painted all the woodwork in the grey, as you can see. I've done the, the frames, the doors, all the exterior bits of wood that will go that silvery grey, which I'm, well, silvery black that I'm looking for. I've also done the back, that's all done as well. I haven't touched the stairs because that's virtually the colour I want. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this to dry, I'm going to leave it to dry overnight because I really want it dry so it will actually take the washes. So I'm going to leave that to dry, when we come back we'll get on and we'll start putting some washes on it. My grey wash that I put on has had a good time to dry, actually it's dried overnight so it is good and dry. Now. I will show you what I'm aiming to achieve with the other door. Now I'm aiming to achieve this type of finish, this grey, silvery, blacky, oldish wood that looks like it's been uh, looked after but then not looked after. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. Now everything is being painted in the grey and what I'm actually going to do now is I've got my uh, Vallejo dipping wash. Now I'm going to use this neat straight from uh, the container, not thin down at all. And all we're going to do is, if I can keep it all in shot, is we're just going to give it a coat. Now I'm going to do the same on the small doors on the actual barn, all the woodwork that's on the exterior. I'm just going to go over it in the dipping wash and give it all a coat. So I'm not going to bore you to death by me painting a wash on because we, I think we all get the idea of what I'm doing. So I shall come back to you when I've finished, well I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll come back to you when I've finished and it's all dry so we can move on then to the next step so I'm gonna do finish this door off I'm gonna do the door frames the doors everything 
on the outside of the barn with the coat of the black. The black wash has had a time to dry and as you can see it's pretty messy and what we're actually going to do, well what I'm actually going to do now, I've got a bit of sanding sponge, uh, I'm not quite sure what grit it is but it's not too coarse and all we're going to do, we're going to start sanding it and we're going to sand this all the way back, well not all the way back but if you can see it's just allowing the light colours to actually come through like so now I'm going to do that all over back as well I shall try and get my little sponge that's the reason why it's been cut to an angle so I can actually get into these uh, corners but I'm going to be bringing that all the way back so it's allowing that grey to actually start to come back through again so what I should do now I'm going to not bore the the bum off you by sit, making you sit through me see doing all the sanding I'm going to get this door done I'm going to get the woodwork on the barn done and then I'll come back to you and we'll go on to the next step I've lightly sanded all the woodwork as you can see I've also done the uh, fascia board on the side there and also the bits and pieces around the back so that's all been just rubbed over just so it allows the grey to come back through now I've also done the actual barn door which we'll go back down to now now my next wash is going to be just to give it a little bit of warmth and what I've got is my mixture 25% of the brown wash with 75% thinners so it is a real thin wash and all I'm going to do is give this a once over now I'm going to do all of the wood and like I say I'm not going to bore you to tears by letting you sit there and watch me do this I shall get it all done and then I shall actually come back to you so that coat has had a, a chance to dry and I'm going to do exactly the same as what we did at the beginning with my little uh, sanding sponge I'm just going to rub this all the way back now you get the whole idea of this sort of like build up of different layers and to give it a little bit more warmth so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to sand well just gently rub this all down and I'm going to do all the woodwork and then I'll come back to you and we'll go on to the final step I've been around all the woodwork now with my little sanding pad and I've rubbed everything down as you can see the door has had uh, I've done it quite heavy quite hard in places uh, just to get a bit more uh, texture to it now my final coat of wash is the black and this is a 25 by 25 of the dipping wash black and 75% uh, thinners so it's a, a very very thin wash and all we're going to do is we're going to give it all another coat now like I normally say I'm not going to bore the bum off you by watching me paint everything so I'll just do this one little bit here it's as simple as that now I'm going to go over everything and give it one coat then when it's all dry I will come back to you and we'll have a look because I probably will go over it again just with the sanding pad just to mat areas down the final coat has dried and what I've done I've been all over it with my little bit of uh, sanding sponge uh, just to lighten areas up uh, any shiny bits just to mat them down again still might need a coat of mat but we'll wait and see on that one but I'm quite happy with the effect I'm more than happy now moving on from that we're going to be leaving that and we're going to be oh, well I'm going to be going on now to get these uh, hinges sorted out uh, we already matte blacked them now we just got to sort of uh, make them look a bit old and rusty so we'll go down to the bench and I'll run through how I'm doing it nice close-up for you 
Now that's how I want all my hinges uh, to look. Well, not all exactly the same, but I just don't want uh, too much rust on it. I just want a light rust, and I just want them to look like they've been out in the weather and they've actually been used. Now, what I should do is I'll pull the camera back and I'll just run through uh, what I've actually used to. I will we'll pull it back and I'll go through. I'll, I'll show you what what I've actually used and how I actually got to that point. Now a quick look at what I'm actually going to be using to create my rust effects, should I say, on my hinges. Now there's a mixture here of Vallejo and AK because to be honest with you I always use what I've got on my shelf. I don't uh, purposely go out and buy uh, stuff. Most of these come out of different sets that I've bought and I'm just using them up. There is only one uh, there that I'll actually go out and purchase, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, they're in descending order because I start with the grey. Now, it's a London grey. It doesn't have to be a London grey. It can be any grey you want, if what you've got on the shelf. Now, I've got the wood. Uh, a strange choice, but it's even though it's called wood, I just go on the colour. It's that real sort of lightish orange that you find in rust uh, and that is the ideal one that is the one I use that's the one I like when you're doing your rust you can uh, pick the colors you want and uh, blend them in shall I say the next one to it is the dark rust uh, this another one that came out of a, a set which I had on my shelf uh, which I will be using also fuel stains very good for doing exactly what making stains on the bottoms of the of doors and things like that ideal uh, slime and grime dark this is a green this is brilliant for the bottom of doors to give it that uh, uh, algae look at the bottom should I say and the one that I will go out and buy and I use I always go to it and that is my Vallejo mod wash and this is the light rust absolutely brilliant I use a lot of this and I do order this purposely should I say because it's one of my go-to's the next go-to is my wash and in the background here we've got the brown and the black these are the two uh, 2575's washes that I use that's a neat one and I just vary it as I feel and right at the end here we have AK's engine oil yeah great great little product this is because it gives the effect of oil and it's great for the round hinges just to wet them up to make them look like they've actually been oiled at some point also great for uh, using along the bottom of doors again just to give that wet damp uh, impression so they're the products well yeah but they're the things that I'm actually going to use I'm going to say products uh, they're the items I'm going to use because that's what I've got on my shelf now what I should do I'll pull the camera back up and I will run through how I'm actually using each one of them on the hinge I will try and show you my process on just one of the hinges now to start off with if you notice that where I've been sanding I've actually caught the edge of the hinge and I've taken the black paint off and this is the first bit I'm going to actually touch up. Now I've got some of the London Grey in a palette and all I'm going to do is if I can do this with this camera right up my nose is just fill in that brass bit all the way around like so So any brass bits we just put a little bit of grey paint on and a little dot here and there. So it's all cleaned up. Now I'm not going to bore you, I'm going to leave that to dry and I shall be back with you in a second. That's had a little chance to dry off and now I've got in my palette is the wood. and. Well, just uh, literally, it's just 
toss it here a little tiny bit there as you can see I'm not going mad with it so we're just putting little dots all over the place that will dry a lot lighter now I don't even wait for that one to dry I go straight in now with the uh, the dark rust and we do exactly the same just a few dubs here whatever really sort of uh, you want to do there's no set rules and that's it now I should do the other hinges and when that's dry I'll come back to you and we'll go on to the next bit right that's had a good chance to dry now what I'm going to be using is on my next bit is the mod wash uh, model wash uh, this is my always turn to uh, wash and I just absolutely love this wash and we ain't going to be careful with it we're just going to really lay it on there like so now this will probably take two coats I'll get that one done as well and I'm not really fussy if it goes onto the wood because it gives a nice effect that one and I'll go down to the bottom one and we'll get a coat on that now I'm going to give that a little chance to dry and I should come back and we'll put a second coat on first coat's dry looking better already right I'm now going to just going to give it a second coat a nice heavy coat like I did the first one not being too careful right I should give all the other hinges a second coat and I should come back to you when they dry that coat has dried and my final coat is going to be of my black wash uh, just give it a nice even coat And this is my 50-50 mix. I've probably gone a little bit too heavy there because uh, I've got the camera down low. But that's it. That's all I'm going to do to it. So I'm going to give the other hinges uh, a coat of the black wash. And when they dry, I'll come back and let you have a look. Now that's all the hinges done. And well, done to the, the level that I want them to be done. The next stage is going to be sort of uh, getting some stains on the doors, the bottom edges, chipping them up, marking them up, getting some slime and grime around them, and just genuinely making them look like they've been out in the weather. Unfortunately, we're not going to be doing that on this video for the simple reason is uh, I'm having some real big problems with the computer at the moment. And now I've actually got the computer up and running. I'm going to end this video here because I am a little bit concerned that I won't be able to get it restarted and actually get all the other clips put together, edited up and posted up. So that is what I'm going to do, is going to end the video here. Uh, also I will mention that I'm on the move uh, from my shed into a larger uh, modelling room, should I say, within the house the wife has actually let me in, indoors should I say so there may be a, a, a week before a week probably a week and a half before the actual uh, next video so with that little note I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me hopefully we will see you on the next one until then